Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the one who exists without a place and the one who does not resemble any of the creations. And may Allah raise the rank of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and protect his nation from that which he feared for them. Dear brothers and sisters, today we will cover the integrals of fasting, which are two. The first of which is each night that is to make the intention to fast the following day. Second, to abstain from sexual intercourse, masturbation, and inserting anything with a volume into the head or body cavity through an open inlet, excluding one's pure tahir saliva while still inside the mouth during the time from dawn until sunset. Making the intention at night to fast the following day means to have the intention to fast in one's heart during the night preceding the fasting day, that is, after the sunset and before the dawn of the following day. Sometime during that time, the person must make the intention to fast the following day, and this must be done each night for the following day as related by At-Tirmidhi and An-Nasai and others that the Prophet ﷺ said, The intention is in the heart and does not have to be uttered with the tongue. The one who slept at night without having had the intention to fast and woke up after the dawn is obligated to abstain from whatever a fasting person would abstain from and then fast a makeup for that day. If the menstrual or postpartum bleeding of a woman stopped at night, then she must intend to fast the following day. The purificatory bath is not required to start fasting, but rather to start praying. The intention for any obligatory fasting during Ramadan must take place the night before the fast. However, for the one who is fasting an optional fast, it is not a condition that he must intend to do so the preceding night. It is valid for him to have the intention to fast the same day during the morning before the sun moves from the center of the sky towards the west, as long as he had not committed any of the invalidators of fasting since the dawn appeared. Second, the fasting person must abstain from taking into his body cavity any material that has a tangible volume from an open inlet, whether this material was food or drink or other than that. If a person intentionally takes into his body cavity any material that has a tangible volume during the fasting day while remembering that he is fasting and knowing that it is unlawful to do so, and not because another threatened to kill him or the like, if he did not break his fast, then this invalidates his fast, and he has to make it up. وَالصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَىٰ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ